I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but I need to talk to you. The devil caught me with my head down. Until I looked up and said, amen. <laughs> See, when the enemy try to attack me, I speak the word of God right back. You understand? You have to be able to speak the word of God to your situation. Let me tell you why. Your confession or what you say, right? Your confession is a result of your belief. Your belief is a result of your thinking. Your thinking is a result of your knowledge and your knowledge is a result of your source. And I'm here today to tell you either you're plugged into one of two sources, either God or the devil. How do you know if you're plugged into the devil? If you're plugged into fear, if you're operating by fear. Because God's word said, God did not give us the spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So when we plug into God, we get a sound mind and we get peace because peace is not something, it's someone. So since God didn't give you the spirit of fear, if you are feeling fearful, then that means that you're plugged in to fear. And that make the devil laugh right there. Because what fear stands for, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. It also stands for forget everything and run. But God say, no, 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 unplug from that and plug into me. If you F-E-A-R my way, what that stand for, Lil' D? Face everything and rise. Face it, trace it, erase it, and then replace it with the word of God. Whatever it is that you're going through, speak victory. Speak the word of God to your situation. Remember when the enemy tempted Jesus, when Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 and 40 nights, the, the devil came and said, uh, if you got all power, like turn these stones into bread. Jesus said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Jesus could have boo, elbowed the devil and defeated. He had, he had all power. He could have defeated the devil, but he chose to use the word of God to speak to him, to serve as an example, an example for me and you every day in terms of what we should do when the enemy attacks us. You got me? <laughs> so now <laughs> we done sidestep fear. We don't, we don't live over there. Now we living in faith. What faith stands for? Forward action and trusting him. <laughs> It also stands for, I got a green light now, uh, 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 forwarding all issues to heaven. Boy, the enemy try to talk to me. I forward that call to Jesus. You got to take it up with Jesus. It is written. That's why I be talking to the enemy. <laughs> it is written. See, the enemy, he tired of me. He tired of attacking me because all he get is the word. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth is speaking. You squeeze a lemon, what's going to come out? Lemon juice. You squeeze an orange, what's going to come out? Orange juice. If you squeeze a tangerine, what's going to come out? Tangerine juice. Well, when life squeezes you, what's going to come out? Whatever you've been putting in. Because <laughs> out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaking. So put the word of God in you so that you got something to speak to the enemy whenever he attacks. You got to be able to feed your heart faith when you don't need it so that your heart can feed your mouth faith to speak when you do need it because the bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue but speak the word of god over your situation and the enemy gonna take off running i love you so much if you made it to the end of this video i need you to hit that like button then i need you to comment the words i will speak the word of god because that's right we gonna speak the word of god Keep on speaking the word of God. There's power in the word of God. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.